Hello. I'm putting this video everywhere because backstory, um, I used to be a beach body, body now coach, and I would try to help people um, lose weight and get healthier. Um, I stopped doing that because the goal behind it was to reach out to people and see if they wanted to be a part of your group, which was so good. But then um, it was hard because I just felt not genuine, like reaching out to people because I had a goal in mind. It wasn't heartfelt and I didn't, I didn't like that. And I still remember somebody um, who did Mary Kay, who was a huge Jesus lover, said that she stopped doing that because she, same the exact reason, she didn't feel, you know, she wasn't genuine with her friends. Um, so now I'm just putting out videos. I'm not trying to get anything from anybody here. Just thought this was interesting. And I love these little tidbits. But um, the one tip for today that I've, that I'm like, okay, let's do it is make the habit that you want to create satisfying. So like, for example, after you do this thing that you're like, I'm trying to do this every day, I want to do this, make it satisfying, meaning you tr you do something that you want to do after that, that's like enjoyable. You reward yourself for doing this thing after that's enjoyable. And it literally can be anything, but just make sure that you're it doesn't conflict with your identity. So like um, buying yourself a nice new jacket after losing a couple pounds, that's great. But that doesn't make sense for somebody who's trying to budget and trying to save money. So like instead, rewarding yourself for losing a couple pounds would be like a nice bath or getting a massage. I mean, you could just ask your husband, hey, can you rub my shoulders? Because I did good today. You know, like that kind of thing. And I was just like, that's, that's good. That's good. And if you keep doing that, hopefully, the more routine and boring it is, the more habitual it will become. People say 21 days, but this guy's just saying, like, you just do something over and over again, and it just becomes a habit. Um, um, what's another example? So, like, yeah, another example would be opening a savings account just like if you're deciding not to go out to eat so much instead of like um, when you decide I'm not going to go out to eat you instead put $50 towards a um, trip to Europe or um, trip to go see the Wabasha Eagles and the owls in Minnesota so yeah so I was just like that's really awesome I love that uh, let's let's share that on the video um and also Jesus loves you and just got to put that plug in there. He loves you and he's for you, not against you. And if I get talking about it and really thinking about it too much, I start to cry. But it's just like, I don't know. He helps me. He's helped me so much. And like he's helped me in a lot of different areas of life. And I just, I just want you to know he is for you and not against you. And he doesn't just help me. He doesn't want to just help me. He wants to help everybody. Even the most broken, lost people he wants to help. That had nothing to do with the reason why I hopped on. But I just felt like I had to say that. All right. Have a blessed day.